And as a follow-up, why would businesses choose to use Hyperledger over other distributed ledger technologies? So companies, when they decide what open source technologies to use, right, they should evaluate an open source project based on a number of factors, not just, you know, is the code available, does it run, how mature is it, right? Have they released a 1.0 and a 1.1 and a 1.2? You want to see a kind of a regular stream of these things. Um, we also believe companies make decisions, uh, uh, I believe companies make decisions about what open source technologies to choose based on the health of the community, right? And the, uh, how many other companies are embedding this technology inside of their own solutions, right? Inside of other products and services, how many people out there are using it, that sort of thing. And so at Hyperledger, what we're trying to do is not just build a very healthy developer ecosystem around our technologies, we also do a lot to try to talk with our members and others who are using uh, Fabric or using Hyperledger Sawtooth or these other technologies to understand where are they using it and what's the value that they're getting from it, and can we talk about that to the outside world. Right, uh, which is hard. Sometimes people don't want to talk about their behind-the-scenes projects, right? Um, but when we can talk about the application of that in music licensing or uh, food supply chain projects, right, um, and and start to talk about kind of a higher-level uh, um, impact that these projects can have. Um, and then that, I think, gets companies really interested. But they don't make the decision to jump in unless they can see that this is not just a piece of code, that this is a movement. So that's really what we're trying to build. And that's why we believe companies can confidently decide to pull down and start using Hyperledger Fabric, Hyperledger Sawtooth, any of these projects, and hopefully become contributors to them as well.